Three new animals have been discovered, and scientists named them all after celebrities. It's typical. The rich just keep getting richer. <laughs> Hello everyone, Joe and Trace here for D News. Usually species are named by the people or persons who discover them. There are rules, however. For example, the taxonomy of the species needs to be respected. Like all humans that belong to the various species of Homo. The genus is Homo, so then they've got Homo erectus, Homo habilis, Homo antecessor, and of course, Modern humans, homo sapiens, what up with the best? That's us. The next closest living relative is the chimpanzee. They are in the genus Pan. Pan troglodytes are chimpanzees, and Pan paniscus are bonobos. Working within these rules, though, some scientists tend to get a little creative. Earlier this year, scientists discovered a new Mediterranean water mite and published their findings in the journal Zoo Keys. They named it Litterachna Lopez, after famed hindquarters hoofer Jennifer Lopez. Wow. The species differs from the normal Mediterranean water mite because it has a more bowed, arrow-shaped pregenital sclerite. Does that mean butt? I think so. I don't know. It's like a hard thing. I don't know. Water mites have soft bodies and eight legs. They resemble tiny, short-legged spiders. They mate in the late spring, early summer, and then lay 400 eggs, which hatch into cute little parasitic larvae. Mosquitoes, dragonflies, damselflies, and other insects end up hosting these tiny larval parasites while they grow, and during this time, they eat away at their host, form a sac, and then develop into a nymph before bursting onto the scene, accompanied by Ja Rule. Murder Inc. Animal number two is named after Ozzy Osbourne. Back in 2009, a group of animal-loving scientists trekked through the Amazon on a mission to chronicle the biodiversity of the Floresta Nacional de Barrosa in Brazil. And one of the headline-generating species they stumbled upon is what the internet is lovingly referring to as the bat frog. The bat in bat frog is not in honor of the bat-like wings, because uh, it doesn't have that, but from the sound produced by the males of the species who possess a very large, transparent vocal sac that blasts out lovely serenades to bat frog females perched in the treetops. What up, girl? The sounds of these calls are akin to the high-frequency sounds generated by bats. The members of the Discovery team were all fans of Black Sabbath, so naturally... I like yeah, everybody. Yeah, they named the new species after the frontman Ozzy Osbourne. And that's why bat frog's scientific name is Dendrosophus ozii. Black Sabbath? More like bat Sabbath. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that was bad. That's yeah, stupid. And a third new species of spider was discovered by the Museo Peronese Emilio Goliere in Brazil. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> and that has been named Bumba Lenoni, after bearded Beatles lead John Lennon. They published their results in Zookeys, and look at this thing. It is terrifying! It's found in western Amazonia and stretches three to four centimeters. Similar to John Lennon, it grows hairs in order to irritate any predators that come in contact with it, though it's on its spidery abdomen and not its... Face. The researchers chose to name the irritating little creature after Lennon because he, quote, made this world a gentler place. But then the first name also has tradition attached to it. Bumba refers to a folk tradition in northern Brazil, the practice of boi bomba, or hit my bull. So it means hit my bull, John Lennon? Yeah, it's like the uh, one track off of uh, the Magical Mystery Tour. Remember? No. Sick album. I don't remember that at all. Shh. Anyway, there are a bunch of other species named after celebrities, so do a ye old internet search and find us some good ones to leave down in the comments. Also, make sure you subscribe and find us on Twitter. I'm at Trace Dominguez. At Joe Beretta. Or you can find us all at D News. Do it.